Hi everyone, welcome to the Plant Stock channel. If we haven't met yet, my name is Jesse. I wasn't planning on making any more videos before I start with my Plant Stock daily with five videos a week starting now on Monday. But this recent positive news from Beyond Meat triggered an urge. We will first take a look at the new KFC deal, which could prove to be a turnaround play for Beyond Meat. Then we'll have a quick look at the McPlant launch in the UK and finally take a look at Bank of America's underperforming rate on Beyond. But before we get to it, if you would like to support the channel, please feel free to push that like button. And if you want to be daily updated on companies like Beyond, Oatly, The Very Good Food Company, Tattoo Chef to name a few, make sure to subscribe and don't forget that bell button. Also, feel free to join our free Discord channel where over 300 of us discuss these companies in detail. There is a lot of value in this Discord, and I learn a lot just interacting with everyone. Come and join us. Yesterday was a pretty bad day for Beyond Stock Investors, as we dropped about 5%. However, this quickly changed in the post-market, and suddenly we could see an expected 9% gain, which is also now in the pre-market, also almost close to 10%. And why is that? Well, we just found out that Beyond Meat are launching their latest chicken product at no less than 4,000 KFC locations in the US. And although this is great news indeed, but an even more interesting aspect is that this is essentially a new product from Beyond Meat. If you thought this was a version from the Beyond Chicken Tenders, then think again. This product was designed to actually mimic the real thing as close as possible. It's a muscle mimicking product, which will give the consumer a closer authentic sensation to that fried chicken breast sensation. Now, this is perfect timing on both companies part, considering it's the beginning of the new year and many people have made new resolutions for the year to start working on their health. Yes, this is a processed food, no doubt, but with zero cholesterol and less fat, we'll still make this product look a lot healthier in comparison with the actual chicken breast. And as I'm sure that many of you already know, January is also called Veganuary, when many people around the world make a pledge to try to live as a vegan for a period, probably in an effort to improve their health. Not sure if everyone knows this, but Beyond and KFC has tried this before, but it's much more limited, and the results was staggering. It's been tried at over 70 locations, but was quickly sold out. Their price will be around $6.99, but will vary depending on the location. Do note, however, at this time, this will not be prepared in a proper vegan, vegetarian fashion. This is also a temporary deal, but if it does do well, which I imagine it will given the history, this might be a permanent situation. But even more importantly, at the moment, this is only 4,000 locations. There are 25,000 locations worldwide, and if this really hits well, I see no reason why we can't expect the deal to continue in other countries. I would be really interested to hear if anyone has tried the earlier versions when they had the trial period. Let me know down in the comments. And we also have some more news that should interest most of you, although it's not very new news. Today, the Mac plant launched in the UK, yet this is a nationwide launch, which means that it will be located in 1300 McDonald's locations. This is obviously a good sign of what is yet to come, and this will actually be prepared in a vegan manner. We're still waiting to hear back from the U.S. branch, and many of us are hoping to see another 13 to 14,000 locations in the U.S. Just recently, they had a trial at eight locations, and according to different analysts, the results were very good. And the last piece of news today might be a bit more negative, and that is that the Bank of America puts an underperforming rate on the stock. By the way, this is from the Seeking Alpha site. If you want a 50% discount to their services, which will help you on your journey, take a look in the description. Now, if we take a look at this short text, quote, analyst Peter Gabo warns on a slowing rate of growth for the meatless category, particularly the U.S. retail locations and uncertainty on the success of a full-scale McPlant rollout with McDonald's and associated gross margin dilution. Gabo also notes that the peer company valuation OTLY, which is, of course, Oatly, FRPT, have materially pulled in on growth capacity concerns and lack of profitability. At the 3.3 times target sales multiple, we value beyond shares at a discount to both OTLY and FRPT. Both stories we view as having a higher likelihood of meaningful disruption in the respective categories. 
Their objective price is at the moment $55. To some extent, I do understand that sentiment. Beyond has had a rough year in 2021 and have had issues to execute on all cylinders for sure. These are trying times. Yet, if this extended partnership with KFC goes well, and the same with the Mac plant in the UK, we could see a different rating soon. And let's not forget about the larger deal with McDonald's to be had, the PepsiCo deal that is soon reaching its fruition regarding beef jerky and potential dairy products, something that might be really huge soon. I will talk more about this in a future video soon. But also, the KFC deal is only one part of the whole Yum! Brass deal. We also have Pizza Hut and Taco Bell to look forward to. All right, that was it for today. Hope you got some value from today's video. And if you did, make sure to smash that like button and feel free to subscribe if you want more videos like this. I really hope to see all of you soon. Peace out.